Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and I have my own channel here on YouTube where I post about makeup and skincare. So make sure to go check out my channel as well. But today on the Acne Channel, we are going to be talking about skincare in your 20s. And as someone who is just turning 20 in a couple weeks here, you know, I gotta start prepping my skincare for when that happens. Um, but you know, through my time on YouTube, working with different skincare brands and seeing skincare on different people, I've been kind of able to learn about skincare at different ages and what works for teens what works for people with more mature skin and I find skincare in your 20s is kind of a confusing time you know you're like maybe still getting those teenage breakouts but your skin is a little bit different maybe more dehydrated but you're like maybe my skin's not ready for those anti-aging products yet so we're gonna dive right into that today and really gonna be answering any questions you may have <music> Let's start off with like a skincare step kind of breakdown of what your routine should be looking like or what you can be doing in your skincare routine in your 20s. I find the biggest question of all is should I start using anti-aging products and ingredients in my 20s? And I think that answer is yes, absolutely. Skincare is about prevention rather than fixing an issue. So might as well start those anti-aging products and treatments now. Now, of course, aging is natural and it's something that we should be grateful to have the opportunity to do. I do want to put that disclaimer in here when it comes to anti-aging skincare. I'm talking here about preventing more damage to the skin than is needed and avoiding accelerating the aging process when you can through different methods of skincare. But of course, aging is going to happen naturally and it should be something you should be grateful to experience. When it comes to those ingredients that help out with diminishing wrinkles and making the skin look more plump like retinol and vitamin C, those those are definitely ingredients you can start incorporating into your skincare routine in your 20s. So first off with any skincare routine, I would always start off with cleansing, whether this is a double cleanse method if you're using makeup and sunscreen for a nighttime cleanse or just a nice light cleanser in the morning. I always recommend something that won't be stripping to the skin. You know, if you in your teenage years use a lot of stripping cleansers, get rid of those. Your skin does not need that. Use something that can be effective on your skin, but doesn't have those super dry ingredients to really disturb your moisture barrier. A lot of people don't know that cleansing can be the most damaging part of your skincare routine and I definitely recommend making sure that your cleanser is not ruining your skin. Next is exfoliating. I feel like especially in this generation that I'm also in is very into over exfoliating. So overall, I would say don't overdo it. I'm not the biggest fan of physical exfoliator, so I don't recommend those as much. I do like a chemical exfoliator here and then. Make sure you're not overdoing this to your skin and you're not using like six different exfoliating products every single night. There are a bunch of great chemical exfoliators like BHAs, AHAs, PHAs, even if you have more sensitive skin, lactic acid, glycolic acid, so many great ones out there that can really help just give your skin a nice exfoliation, but you just gotta make sure you're using them appropriately and not too often on your skin. Now I wanna talk about vitamin C. I think vitamin C is an amazing antioxidant. An antioxidant protects you from free radicals in the atmosphere and any stressors. Think of the sun, think of pollution, which have the potential to damage the skin and cause accelerated aging and disruption of the skin so using something like vitamin c can be very very helpful i love some of the ones from banish like their banish oil if you have more dry skin and you need more of a oil product but my favorite is definitely the vitamin c cream um something with vitamin c in it especially in the daytime is awesome it's very easy to incorporate into your routine and it can be a helpful ingredient along with protecting your skin it also can support the production of collagen as your body builds up that collagen, the vitamin C is kind of protecting um, from those free radicals damaging that collagen production. Next, let's talk about retinol. I feel like this one, a lot of people assume you should only start using in your like 30s, 40s, but you can definitely start using it early on. Retinol or other vitamin A derivatives are amazing even for acne prone skin. So it's definitely something that you can use even in your teen years. It can help reduce wrinkles, increase the skin's firmness and elasticity, improve the skin tone, and even help with like the radiance of the skin and as I said with acne and even acne scars. If you have any post-inflammatory pigmentation from that acne in your teen years, retinol might be a great product to add in or if you still struggle with some breakouts, retinol may again be a great option for you since it can help with so many different things. Now speaking of acne, what if you still get acne in your 20s? I think this is very normal for myself. I still get acne on a regular basis. Right now I'm having a bit of a hormonal flare-up and that's totally normal and it's something that oftentimes you just 
just can't control. But there are ways to incorporate things into your skincare routine that can kind of help you out with this. I would recommend ingredients that do help with acne, such as salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, even that retinol we talked about before. But make sure you're not overdoing it with too many treatments. I feel like as teens, we all just overloaded all those acne treatments onto our face. And maybe now realizing maybe that wasn't the best decision and it might have done more bad than good. So keep it simple. Don't use too many treatments at once and don't overdo it to your skin. With that retinol and vitamin C, I would recommend using the vitamin C in the morning as it can help support your SPF and using the retinol at night, do not use them at the same time. And the last most important step of all in your skincare routine, it has to, has to, has to be an SPF. Please be using SPF in your skincare routine every single day. This is so important because you need to be protecting your skin from the harmful UV rays that come from the sun as that can lead to a lot of skin damage. And you also want to be using an SPF that has broad spectrum protection. This means that it protects both from UVA and UVB rays. UVB rays are what cause damage to the outer layer of the skin and that's what causes a burn in the skin. But UVA rays do penetrate deeper into the epidermis which cause your skin cells to go under premature aging. By using sunscreen every day, you're not only preventing your skin from potential damage, but also making sure that you're not over accelerating that aging process. But with that, of course, you should be reapplying your SPF regularly throughout the day. And I would recommend an SPF of around at least 30, but higher is always better. So that is the overall routine I recommend for someone in their 20s, you know, just kind of a broad step by step. But let's talk about some other tips that could also affect your skin. First of all is don't forget your neck. So always take your skin here down to your neck and chest area because of course as we start to age it isn't just restricted to our face it happens everywhere on our body and especially like if you are a side sleeve or something people do start to see those lines on their chest or even some on their neck so bringing that skincare down can just help next is getting enough sleep now sleep is so important for our skin there are so many things that affect our skin like eating sleeping stress levels all of that so sleeping is definitely a big contributor so make sure you're getting up six to eight hours a night otherwise lack of sleep can actually take a major hit on your skin and this is simply because getting less sleep can actually speed up the aging of our skin cells as well as not sleeping enough can actually make your skin look dehydrated dry and or irritated which make make you look a little bit older than you are this can also cause puffiness in the face and around the eyes a lot of people do like experience that puffiness right when they wake up and not getting enough sleep can actually also be associated with a greater appearance of fine lines uneven pigmentation and reduced elasticity now kind of piggybacking off of that you know everyone says you are what you eat and honestly that is kind of true what you put into your body is going to really affect what the skin looks like this of course includes eating well and exercising and this is because when it comes to your skin various conditions can be determined by your diet this includes drinking enough water eating lots of greens and fiber now of course drinking tons of water is not going to cure your acne but making sure you have that balanced diet can help some people this encompasses a healthy lifestyle all around you know having that balance of exercise diet social life and even calming down your stress levels stress can have a very big impact on our skin so making sure we have that balance all around can really help. And the last tip we're gonna be talking about is never sleeping with makeup on. This is so important. I still see a lot of people do this. You definitely do wanna be removing your makeup at the end of the night. And I absolutely love makeup, but what I love even more is taking it off at the end of the day. Make sure you're always taking off your makeup thoroughly without tugging too much on the skin. This is why I usually like to avoid makeup wipes. I'm not the biggest fan as I find them to be a little rough on the skin and they're just a daily waste that's not really needed um, and oftentimes they can be rough around the eyes and the skin too so I like a good makeup remover that is usually in a cleansing oil or cleansing balm form it is that oil based so oil does help remove oil which is, makeup is oil based so then um, it will really remove that off then you can go in with your water-based cleanser to really make sure you have that nice double cleanse and then you can go in with the rest of your skincare some of the stuff we talked about earlier in this video and you are good to go so overall guys those are some of my tips for skincare in your 20s I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the Acne channel for more weekly videos on skincare, acne, and lots of educational tips. And if you do want to check me out, you can find me at Lavinia Rosanda here on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!